Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, May 30th. We are just going to jump right in here, Sag, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you at this time. Uh, a lot of people have been getting cards like this about kind of uh, relaxing or just taking your time because, uh, I don't know, we're at the end of the retrograde and I do feel it's a good time to maybe, uh, you know, just take some time to rest and relax and recover. Probably because after the retrograde, there's going to be a big, you know, um, kind of speed up of the energy, I would say. Um, you know, we have a lot of energy in Aries, uh, right now, or like, well, Jupiter, <laughs> mostly. So I feel like people are going to be feeling very energetic, like once we come out of the retrograde. Uh, you have this come to the edge card. This card kind of says, go to the point where you would normally give up on something and go a little bit further. I feel major deja vu. I'm pr it might have been you that had this in your six-month reading, um, next six months. I can't remember if it was you or someone else. But, um, you know, I get that energy for you where I feel it would be a good time to kind of push past the point where you would normally quit on something or give up on something. I'm mostly referring to uh, like projects or careers or jobs. You know, if there's like, if there's a certain point where you get to and you normally give up, I feel like success is on the other side of um, kind of that point. You have the five of uh, pentacles, the five of wands and the page of wands here. I feel, um, I don't know, I feel like everybody feels this way. Obviously, we have like, you know, inflation and like all this other crazy stuff going on in the world, right? And so I feel people kind of feel left out as far as finances are concerned with the five of pentacles. I feel like people are kind of feeling a little bit like they wish they had something. <laughs> and so I feel like you're feeling this energy. The good news is you have the king of pentacles and the five of wands. I mean, the the uh, king of pentacles and the ace of wands in that top row, that tells me that you're coming up with better ideas on how to uh, create success, right? And it's funny because I've been talking about this for a while, how, you know, I think that we're at this point now in the energy where it's like the world doesn't need more like laws and regulations and all this other stuff. We need better ideas. We have big problems in the world, obviously. And again, those things aren't going to solve it. That's the whole point of the astrology that we're going through is I feel like people are realizing like we need ideas and people who can execute on those ideas. We don't need, you know, whatever. We don't need, you know, the evil Bill Gates or even worse, Zuckerberg, ugh, right? My arch nemesis. We don't need him coming to our rescue. Um, because, you know, I don't know, I don't know about you, but Zuckerberg doesn't even look like someone who, he looks like someone who wears Velcro shoes, right? Let's just put it that way. And so I feel for the most part, we're realizing that we need better ideas. Uh, the problem is competition. Uh, five of wands. So again, I feel like all of us, we need to push through um, barriers, right? I keep telling people, don't break the law, right? Um, obviously, but there are ways that maybe we can bend the rules or get around the rules. And again, that's where true genius is going to be discovered at this time. Uh, you have the page of wands as well. So I feel like you're feeling very driven. This is very exciting. This way right here, going page of wands, knight of swords, ace of wands. That is like rushing towards some really something really great. I always tell people that um, I love big problems. Um, it's like you know, listening. Uh, you know, I've been listening to Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks for years now, and it's like one thing that um, Abraham always talks about, right? Is big I, big problems attract big solutions, right? So ever since you know, I really kind of got that into my brain. I was like, man, I, I love big problems <laughs> um, in my personal life, right? Because I've been able to attract some pretty big solutions or come up with some big solutions. And I think once you have that mindset shift then it's like you really can, you know, move mountains, plain and simple. And I feel like you're getting to that point here, Sagittarius, where you're not so much thinking like, oh, this is a big problem. I feel like you're saying, what, you know, how can I find form a solution to something? And uh, pretty good. You have this occupation card. I do feel like some of you, uh, if you're having problems with your money, plain and simple, you could be getting a new job, starting a new business, uh, or doing something different. You know, it's really funny to me. This morning, I was watching this video on YouTube. I can't remember exactly what it was about, but it was basically about this kid uh, who he started to, he worked uh, two remote jobs from home. So he's getting double the income. I, th I think he just had two computers set up and he was just like working both remote jobs at the same exact time. Kind of interesting because, you know, it's like he basically was getting a double income just working like eight hours a day, right? And he, he kind of figured out basically that he really, each job only kind of took a certain amount of time. And he's like, if I just focus, you know, I'm basically sitting here doing one. So it's like, why not do two? I have enough, I have enough hands. I get, I get enough free time with both where I can kind of work on both and get paid double. And 
you know, I kind of feel that these are things, I'm not suggesting people are gonna work two jobs. I don't think working harder is necessarily the answer. I'm just giving you an example of some of the things that I think people are starting to discover, right? I think I feel people are getting very creative um, with this stuff. And again, if you have any ideas like this, might be something you wanna look into. I'm not saying like that, but you know, I'm just saying. Uh, you have the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the P Knight of Cups. The King of Pentacles, definitely kind of more stable finances. So again, I feel if you've been having a hard time financially with the Five of Pentacles, plain and simple, it's like a major increase in your resources with the King of Pentacles, or it could just be your uh, resources stabilizing. Again, I would say that it would be because of a new idea. So uh, you're gonna have to make some sort of change or you're gonna have to execute on an idea that you're having with that Ace of Wands to see this success. You have the Knight of Swords. Again, uh, Knight of Swords to me is a card that says avoid get rich quick scheme. So I'd be very careful of like, you know, anything that says get rich quick scams, you know, stuff like that, right? And I've been talking about this for the last two years that really we should be looking to build or leave a legacy. I feel like that's the best way to describe the energy. And are you really gonna leave a legacy? Maybe, maybe not. But again, I would be working on something long-term, especially for those of you in business or work. I wouldn't be looking for something that's like a fly by night type of thing. Really, what I would be doing is a personal brand. I think probably, <laughs> you know, becoming an expert uh, around something, it could be anything, and then branding yourself uh, is probably going to be extremely successful. You know, I think people, you know, I, you know, I, what I always say, not to keep stuttering here, is that we're entering into the age of Aquarius. What is Aquarius all about? It's about the star, becoming your own little star. How can you become your own little star? Are you an expert on snails? I don't care if you're an expert on fish. I don't care if you're an expert on fake plants or whatever, right? Doesn't matter, there's a place for you, um, especially um, in the age of Aquarius, right? But again, you have to figure out how to promote yourself and all that other stuff. Uh, I would also say that building momentum with this right here, the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands are both cards of building momentum, which means that you don't stop. <laughs> so it's like, how can you build as much momentum as you possibly can and, so that you're working smarter not harder. And um, literally, uh, on my new YouTube channel, <laughs> I'm gonna be talking all about this because I think it's super important. It's like I'm starting a podcast, right? And I'm taking the podcast videos, chopping it up, turning them into clips, turning them into shorts, and all this other stuff. Why? Because it's like I do the work once, and I get to duplicate it multiple times. So it's like, I feel that that's what I mean by momentum. How can you create more momentum in your life? Not just in work, but in health and love and everything. And you're gonna have to put on your thinking cap, right? And, I, and like I said, I'm gonna share as much as I can on my new channel. I'm gonna talk all about this stuff. Um, but it, you know, obviously, again, I can't I can't touch on every little thing that's going on in every single person's life. And so you're gonna have to think about it. But I feel like there's a lot of momentum being built here. You have the Knight of Cups. Uh, it could be a Knight in Shining Armor. I wouldn't, you know, for the most part, I feel like this is your imagination. Like I feel like it's saying trust your imagination. If you have some sort of crazy idea to start a podcast and then break it up into clips and all that other stuff, like I just said, do it. The Knight of Cups sometimes, I feel he's just looking into that cup. He's imagining his future life. But the thing that could be stopping him is that there's no example. Normally, he's standing in the desert and there's water flowing in front of him. So it's like he's in the desert where there's nothing, but actually there's water. So if he planted the seeds, his seeds would grow. So it's kind of like, there's no example. You're gonna have to get started on something, but if you do it, you'll be successful. Uh, finally, you have the relaxation card. Definitely a good time to relax right now, right? <laughs> um, because I feel like things are gonna speed up and once we get past this week. You have the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Ace of Wands, very passionate new beginning. And again, every single person I'm pretty sure this week has had the Ace of Wands. It's kind of like in with the old, I mean, in with the new, out with the old type of energy, as I say. It is a passionate new beginning. And I would be moving towards your passions. You have the Four of Cups. Again, I actually kind of like this. Um, this is this this four of cups isn't that great looking, but uh, I feel it would be a good week for you to kind of contemplate. You know, it's a card of contemplation. It's a card of thinking and planning, or it's like a card of coming up with a plan on like what you're gonna do with your life. And I feel like it'd be a great time for you to do that. And finally, you have the six of swords. Moving on, so you're making improvements. The whole point of the Six of Swords normally is there's a woman and a child in the boat. They're like making a complete sacrifice. They're leaving everything behind. Um, everything that they've over, ever known uh, from their life. So I kind of feel like it's saying, you know, don't be afraid to leave something behind <laughs> uh, to be more successful in the future, right? But uh, let's see here. I just want to see where this is going, Sag. 
With the with the uh, Five of Pentacles, you have the Devil. The Devil says, "Do not call." I mean, the Five of Pentacles really says, "Do not call attention to your weaknesses." The Devil is ca kind of like you know, card of toxic energy. But part of that could be with the Devil. We can be too self critical. We can be paying too much attention to the negative and not enough to the positive. So I feel you need to make sure that your mental state is going in the right direction. Uh, with the five of wands, you have the six of wands, success. Again, if you're dealing with anything, hey, I like this. If you're dealing with any conflict or any competition or any battles in your life, like legal battles or otherwise, uh, I feel like you will be successful. The six of wands is a card of victory. Uh, with the queen of wands, you have the ten of swords. Um, you know, again, doesn't really surprise me. I'm pretty sure that you know, every single person is going through a major transformation at this time. Uh, literally, it's like, you know, it's like, I'm, I feel like I'm cheating sometimes because it's like, I see this in all my friends' life, lives, my, you know, my parents' lives, people I know, their lives as well. It's like everybody's going through this major transformation right now. And again, I don't think we've ever had a time like this in history where it's like every single person is going through some crazy, wild, insane change, right? <laughs> and, um, so I just, I just think that it's saying embrace the change, right? Embrace it. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Hierophant. Could be an earth sign, by the way. Could be a Taurus coming in for you if you're looking for love. Uh, other than that, I feel like this is just talking about graduation. The uh, Hierophant, he has three levels to the crown on his head. And the three levels represent um, initiation, apprenticeship, and mastery. So it's kind of like you're mastering something. King of Pentacles is the master of something, right? So I feel if you're like mastering any skills... If you're thinking about going back to school to master a skill, uh, that would be a very good idea with that Ace of Wands. With the Knight of Swords, you have the um, Emperor. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, you have the Emperor. Emperor's been coming up as well. I really feel that people need to have the guts to follow a plan. Like if you come up with a plan in your head to do something, I would just do it. I think there's too much of this future thinking thing. Um, where it's like, you could be thinking like me, you know, it's like, I've been thinking about starting this podcast for like over a year now and it's taken me forever. <laughs> but it's like, for whatever reason, my brain for like the longest time has kept being like, yeah, but if you commit to this, you're going to be married to it forever, you know? And like, I, I you know, I don't know about you, but just me, I reject that. I, I'm, like, I'm the type of person where I, I, I just don't like committing to, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Pisces, right? Do I need to say anything else? Probably not. But I feel that energy for everyone where it's like, I feel like people are having a hard time committing to the future plan. I think what we need to do to correct that is to just realize, no, you're just doing this for right now. You know, you're just trying it out. You're just seeing how things go. You, you're not going to be stuck doing this forever if you, if you don't want to do it. Right. But I would stick to the plan with the Knight of cups. You have the two of swords. Uh, whatever you believe to be true is true here. Sagittarius, you know, again, there's this new Island behind her. She needs to get to that new Island, but, um, you know, she needs to get out of her head. She needs to put her swords down, take her blindfold off. I feel like you need to realize, and everybody needs to realize, that the new world exists right now, and we just need to kind of come to the edge, like your first card there, to experience the new world, to step into it. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and um, love it, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, you know, success, it's funny that I was talking about building or leaving a legacy, here you go, card of building or leaving a legacy, definitely a lot of financial success, again, this is a major financial change for you, I would say if you're doing anything new, or if you're planning on doing something new, but you're hesitating, I wouldn't hesitate, I would do it, I feel like you're going to be very successful, uh, with the four of cups, you have the eight of cups, uh, eight of cups is like walking away from something that no longer serves you. Uh, I feel like we're all doing this. And again, like I said, I have so many people in my life that I feel like are going through this type of change. It almost feels like cheating to me, like I said, where it's like, I feel like a lot of people are walking away from certain things that are just sucking them down so that they don't get stuck, right? And again, I don't think tarot should tell you what to do. I think tarot is loose guidance at, at best. I always tell people, you know, take this with a grain of salt, right? But what I would say is I feel like it's really important that we look at certain cycles in our life. And, um, you know, I, I feel like it's important that if we feel like staying in something that we kind of maybe feel isn't right, I feel like we need to look at the situation. We need to be honest with ourselves and say, does this look like something from the past? And if it does, we need to leave. And, you know, that's my best advice. <laughs> and what I mean, it could be anything. It's like maybe you were in a, an abusive relationship in the past. Maybe you're in a relationship now. Maybe it's not abusive, but maybe the person has certain things. Maybe they do certain things that are kind of are abusive, right? It's like we might be in a situation right now that looks similar, but isn't exactly the same as something from the past. And I feel like the this is saying, are you going to stay? Did you learn the lesson the first time? Or, you know, what's the deal here? 
With the Six of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands. Yep, definitely time for you to be bold, assertive, and to charge forward towards uh, the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, right? Everything that you want in your life. It's going to require bravery, is what I would say here, Sagittarius. But uh, I do want to, well, I wanted to, and I just dropped the entire deck, Sagittarius, and it's all messed up here. Did I save it? I think I did. We got, we got lucky. But um, I want to pull a last row here. And I just want to say, what happens if Sagittarius like charges towards this new beginning? Uh, two of Cups could be love. <laughs> I feel like that's part of it. Two of Cups is like really aligning with your soul. You know, it's you and your higher self. So it's like you're matching up with what you're really meant to do. You have the Page of Wands. You'll be excited, enthusiastic. You'll want to do what you're doing. And the Three of Swords. Yeah, probably sadness about the past. Again, I think that's something we can't avoid. I think everybody right now is being asked to make a sacrifice, I, I believe. And maybe we'll be a little bit sad about that sacrifice, but I think we'll get over it. Uh, this looks amazing for you, Sagittarius. Definitely a very positive change. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.